Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video tutorial, I will explain step by step how we can send an email using MuleSoft and we will be using Gmail SMTP and uh, also we will be uh, attaching uh, some attachments with the email. So it will be a complete tutorial where we will be sending email with attachments. Before I proceed with this tutorial, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed before as I am planning to have uh, many other uh, beginners as well as advanced level videos as part of this video series for MuleSoft and other integration technologies. So let me first explain the scenario that we are going to cover as part of this video tutorial. I will be implementing a Mule application in AnyPoint Studio and I will be exposing a REST web service and we will be receiving a query parameter from the client uh, as part of this uh, request to this REST web service and based on the request query parameter we will be reading a file from the file system and whatever are the contents of that file we will be attaching those uh, uh, to our uh, email uh, for which we will be using Gmail SMTP and email will be sent back to the client and same content which are part of the uh, att attachment will be uh, provided back as the response of the REST web service. For this purpose, we will use Gmail. So in order to use Gmail as our SMTP, there are a certain uh, other configurations also need to be done. And I will explain those as well uh, about the changes that we need to do for our account uh, from the Gmail side. So without further ado, let's directly jump into the implementation part. I have already opened AnyPoint Studio, so I will just create a new project. In the project package explorer, I will choose new, right click, choose new, and I will create a new Mule project. So here we need to give some name. I will name it as uh, Mail Tutorial, and I will not do any changes, and I'll just click on finish. So once I click finish, this project will get created, and you will be able to see it under project package explorer. So as you can see, package explorer shows the project and there is a default message flow that has been created so we will proceed with our implementation within this message flow okay so i'll go to http module and the first thing that i need to do is to drop this listener as it will be the event source for our uh, scenario and once you drop it then uh, you will have to configure this http listener in the configuration uh, for the basic setting i will have to click on this plus button and here I'll have to specify host and port. Uh, I will keep it default host localhost and port 8081 as this port is available and there will be no other change and I will not be doing any TLS or any advanced things and I will keep this uh, REST service as uh, with plan HTTP. I will just click on OK. I don't even need to click on the test connection as I'm sure this port is available. In the path I will specify email. So user will have to pass from the client side HTTP colon double slash localhost colon 8081 slash email and then he will have to pass the query parameter and then that query parameter will be used by our application. So I will click on save button and the next thing I need to do is to fetch or retrieve the query parameter from the user request and save it to in save that one to a variable. So I will choose set variable and this is available in the core module and this set variable will be used to uh, save the uh, variable that is sent from the client. Let's name this variable as file name and for the value I will have to switch to expression mode. And here I will have to write attributes dot query params dot uh, let's name it file. So the user will have to pass the query parameter with the name file. And whatever the value in this file parameter will be sent will be saved in the local variable with the name file name. So we save it and we proceed. Next thing that we need to do is to read from our file system based on the provided query parameter. So let's go to read file. There is a file module which contains this uh, read component. So I will drop this read component in my message flow. And here I will be reading the file. So let's go to the configuration of this read. I'll go to basic settings and in the con connector configuration, I will click on this plus button. And here I'll have to specify working directory. 
So for me, uh, you can actually browse from here or else if you know the path, you can write it. So for me, the file is in C colon slash test. Let me show you the file that we will be taking into consideration. So here we have a file with the name test.xml. So we will be reading this text file. Let me show you this text, uh, text file. This XML file contains a user element which has two sub elements name and age. So this is the file that we will be reading. And since we are going to uh, read this file, so we will make sure that when client passes the name of the file, the correct name is passed as we are not doing any error handling or we are not considering error scenarios here. So here for the file path, uh, file path, we will not provide the absolute path as we have already done the configuration in the connector configuration. So we will have to use the relative path, but we will have to switch to expression mode and we will specify Vars dot file name and I will concatenate with it dot XML as client will not be passing dot XML client will be only passing the name of the file. So in this way we will be reading the file from our file system based on the provided input from the client. Okay, after we have read the file, the next thing that we need to do is to configure the SMTP and we will have to uh, use email module. And from the email module, we will have to use this uh, send component. So drag this component and drop it to the message flow. And here, for this send component, we will have to make the required configuration. The first thing that we need to do is to go to basic settings. We will click on this plus button. And here, we will have to specify all the information that is required for uh, configuring Gmail SMTP. So for the host, I will use SMTP dot gmail.com and smtp is provided by gmail on the port 587 and in the username and password we will have to use valid email address and with correct pa password so i will just use one of the email address that i have and i will have to specify the password here and then another thing that we need to do is to go to advanced and we have to set a property here uh, to enable the uh, start tls so go to properties and choose this option of edit in line and here we will have to click on this plus button to add a new property and the name of this property will be mail.smtp.starttls.enable and value that we will give it is true. So this will enable start TLS for our uh, Gmail. This is a requirement uh, if you want to use SMTP uh, provided by Gmail. So we will click on OK button as we have done the required email SMTP configurations. The next thing that we need to do under the same component is to provide some other details from, for, for example, sender, subject and content of email. So from address, I will keep same. And to address, we can send actually this email to either one or any number of uh, recipients. We can put them into CC, BCC as well, but we will keep it simple and we will just put on in the to address. So we will choose this edit in line and we will click on this plus button. I will send to same email from which I'm sending just for simplicity. So I will specify same email address here. So this will be the email address which will be receiving uh, the data. So in the subject, let's provide some subject and uh, uh, I will just write email from tutorials media. Okay. Now we need to specify the body. In the body of email, I want to pass, no, I don't want to pass uh, any fancy thing. I want to pass just some hard coded text. I'll write please find attached details. So this is this will be the body of the email message. And here we will not change anything as we will keep a text slash plan. And now we need to configure uh, for attachment. So go to attachment section and for the attachment we will have to specify the attachment. So let me switch it to expression mode. And here we will specify the attachment. I will I want to name the attachment with the name attachment.xml. 
and the value that I want to pass is payload as payload will be containing the uh, content of the file that has been read. So I will click uh, just save and I will save it. Nothing else we will keep it like this. So what we will do is that now when we will be calling this web service from the client it will go and it will read the file with the uh, based on the provided query parameter which was saved in a variable and then after reading the content of the file it will send an email using gmail and that email will contain an attachment with the name attachment.xml and also in the body of the email we, uh, we will have this message please find attached details and uh, uh, when the client will be calling this REST service in the response of the same uh, web service in the syn synchronous manner a response body will also contain the content of the file so now let's uh, also uh, talk about a few changes that you need to do uh, for the Gmail account only then you will be able to send this email. So for that you, what you need to do is that you need to go to this URL which I will put in the uh, description as well myaccount.google.com slash app question mark PLI equal to one. So basically what happens is that Gmail uh, by default restricts and secures its accounts and does not allow uh, applications which are less secure to send email using Gmail. But in our case, uh, Mule, uh, the email that we are sending using SMTP configuration from MuleSoft is also categorized as less secure. So we need to allow this less secure apps only then we are able to send email. Uh, you can uh, enable it and later uh, it's recommended to keep it off as uh, this is a security concern for your email account if you keep it on. But for now, for this tutorial, I have kept it on. So I will go back to uh, my my uh, AnyPoint Studio and I will load this project into, into Mule uh, Runtime. So right click and run this project and we will save it. So it will start loading and once it has been deployed, then we will be able to uh, call this service from the client side. In the meanwhile, I will go to uh, the client. I will use Postman. So I will prepare the client. I will prepare the request. So I have uh, opened a new tab here and here I will have to specify HTTP colon double slash localhost colon 8081 slash email and question mark file is equal to test because our file name is test so it should be test I think it's uh, with the capital yes it's test.xml so we will pass it like this. Let's wait for this project to get deployed. As you can see, the project status is deployed. So now we can try this. Okay, so we will just hit the service and uh, it will take some time and then we will be receiving a response for this uh, service. And also then we will verify from our email account that this email has been received. So let's wait for the response for this synchronous call. It takes a bit more time as it has uh, it's, it's communicating with Gmail and it's sending the email with attachment and once we will receive the response as you can see we have received the response and this response is exactly same as we have as what we have in the file so we have file with a name Ajma uh, with the you name you with a element name user and having name and age Ajmal and 34 and as you can see we received the same thing this means that our flow has run successfully what we need to do is now to go to our email account and confirm that we have received the email. Okay, so I can confirm that I have received an email with the, the subject email from Tutorialspedia and then it says please find attached details and here we have an attachment. If I click on this attachment and preview it, I can see that it has all the required content based on the uh, information that was available in the file that we were, we were reading. All right, so that's it. How that's how we create our project uh, in AnyPoint Studio and attach emails and uh, use Gmail SMTP. And we are not covering and we are not uh, handling any error scenarios here. And uh, of course, in the real production scenarios, you will implement uh, uh, such features with uh, all the required uh, nitty gritties covered. But I hope that this tutorial will help you to understand the basics how we can create. Uh, our simple flow and send email using Gmail with attachments. So that's it from this uh, video and uh, I'll make sure that I upload more videos like this.
and i will again request you to please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, feel free to comment below in the comment section if you have any questions thank you very much